found your letter today Some red for lipstick stain I tell my friends that I miss you But I'm a terrible liar Why did you take the couch? Oh, because 
becomes clear in that one moment. You start to believe that there's nothing to fear. It's about one second. And just when you're on the verge of success, the sky starts to change. Are they going to let you out? 
Yes, but I have to bring my sister. Fine by me. She's cool. She doesn't want to sleep outside. Why? And who said anything about sleeping? She's afraid of Son of Sam. He's killing people in parked cars. We're not going to be in parked cars. You can't let this whack job control your life. Okay, there's a concert playing at Forest Park. They're gonna be playing Zeppelin and Pink Floyd. There are gonna be a million other people there. The concert starts at seven, you'll be home by nine, you'll be in bed by 9.30. <laughs> what do you mean I'll be in bed by 9.30? If I don't sleep out, I have to be home by 8.30. The plan stays the same. We'll just tell your sister we're going to the beach. She'll be happy once she gets there. If I don't tell my parents I'm sleeping out, they're gonna wonder where I am. They're not that clueless. Okay, okay. Let me think. Your mother said yes. So maybe don't tell your father. Mm, this is getting too complicated. Okay, okay, don't freak out on me, Claire. Everything works in theory. We just gotta figure out the details. Okay, uh, tell your father to let you stay until 10.30. Tell him the concert starts at 10. Come on, oh. it's summer. You're the only person I know has to go to bed at 8.30. I just wish I didn't my sister. Okay, the way I look at it, Anthony will come if he knows she'll come in. Then we'll have a car. <laughs> we'll have a good time. <laughs> hey, hey What? That's what you want. Her family took the lot of pictures. <laughs> Francis. Yes, Claire. Do you think I'm pretty? All the guys want to go with you. What do you think? Yeah, but what? Well, I'm pretty like well, like my sister. Your sister's beautiful, but you got Jimmy crawling all over you, and George, and Michael, and Anthony would probably jump on the bandwagon if you have the opportunity. What more do you want? Yeah, but I mean, I mean, she's the pretty one. No, I know what you mean. She turns heads. I know. <laughs> but that doesn't mean you're not pretty, Claire. Look, set her up with Anthony. You have nothing to worry about. Thanks, Francis. You're pretty too. <laughs> Don't start. If there's one thing I do have, it's 2020 vision. I think, hey, I could be an astronaut or a fighter pilot if I was a guy. But I have other qualities and I know how to use them. <laughs> <laughs> No trick. It seems her affections have their full bent. <laughs> <laughs> Love me? Why, it must be requited. I hear how I am censored. They say I will bear myself proudly if I perceive the love come from her. They say, too, that she would rather die than give any sign of affection. I can never think to marry. I must not seem proud. Happy are they that can hear their detractions and put them to mending. They say the lady is fair. Tis the truth, I can bear them witness. And virtuous, just so I cannot reprove it. And wise, but for loving me. By my troth, it is no addition to her wit, nor great argument of her folly, for I will be horribly in love with her. I may chance have some odd quirks and remnants of wit broken on me, because I have railed so long against marriage, but does not the appetite alter? A man loves the meat in his youth that he cannot endure in his age. Shall quips and sentences and paper bullets of the brain awe a man from the career of his humor? No! The world must be peopled. <laughs> Monty! Monty! Don't you just love me in pink, would you please? Oh, Monty, look, my 
spent about three years of their lives waiting for elevators. <laughs> Which, I don't know about you, but I find that just absolutely... Wait, no, that can't be right. Oh. What, what do you think? It's good. No, what do you really think? It's really good, Jill. You wrote this last night. Most of it. In the laundry room? Well, you said that you and Black Tooth Bar needed space. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> I didn't have my load done, so I figured, why not write a poem? How do you do this? Do what? Knock them out like this in the middle of a rent cycle? <laughs> well, wait till Douglas gets his way with it, and it'll be covered in red marks, like always. You finish yours? No. Again? I know. That's like three weeks in a row. I don't know what's happening. You used to be the pacer. I just couldn't finish it, all right? All right. What's it about? Icarus. That's cool. What's it called? Icarus. <laughs> okay. How much have you done? The title. <laughs> Look, it was hard, okay? It's fine, we all get stuck. It's... Not you. I stare at my empty page. My pathetically empty page, and it's like, I don't know, mocking me or something. Like, every poet from Homer on down is daring me to step into the ring, and all I've got is a lame title and a buttload of student loans. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Well, obviously, neither do I. <laughs>
I was afraid that you'd be afraid if I told you that I was afraid of intimacy. If you don't have a problem with my problem, maybe the problem's simply codependency. Yes, I know that now you know that I didn't know that you didn't know that when I said no, I meant yes, I know, and then now I know that you knew that I knew you adored me.
guess I, I have been trying more and more for a simpler technique, uh, one that is not theory, not dogma, neither the comma of Monet nor the dot of Sirach, but simple and original. As drawings done with paint. Painting is drawing done in color, nothing more. Oh, since when? And according to who? Bottom line, Vinny, it says. And I'll give you that. The, the swirly little flowers and the twinkling little stars, they look really good on lunch boxes. <laughs> and beach towels. <laughs> and mouse pads. And magnets. Mouse pads? Oh, don't listen to me. Everyone loves your work. How do you know that? I've never exhibited any of these. Oh, you will. Or others will for you. You know my future. All too well. I can think of nothing more terrifying than success. As hard as it is to make my paintings, to hear them spoken of in public would be unbearable. This room, these paintings, it's impossible to know what they would be worth. Because they won't sell, I know. Theo and I have been Because tried. they cannot be bought. They are more valuable than the art market itself. That sunflower painting, it will sell for over $36 million. <laughs> oh, and soon thereafter, pigs will fly. Oh, Patrick, you need help. <laughs> Can this be true? Stand I condemned for pride and scorn so much. Contempt, farewell. And may the pride ado, no glory lives behind the back as such. And Benedict, love on, I shall requite thee, taming my wild heart to thy loving hand. If thou dost love, with my kindness, I shall entice thee to bind our loves up in a holy band. For others say thou dost deserve, and I do believe it better than reportingly. <clears throat>
look at you lying there and I want to love you. I want to sleep for decades by your side. But with you I'm restless. I'm running on empty. I'm living a life where I have compromised. You think in my dreams I'd see you in my I'd see our kids play on the lawn. You'd think in my nightmares I'd be living life without you. You would think you would guess, but I can't sleep. So you'd be wrong. I look at you lying there, sleeping. Oh, I bet you guess my restlessness just grows and while I want to shut my eyes and know the things you know I can't sleep I can't breathe I can't move how I wish I could wake you I wish I could jolt you I wish I could That I loved you isn't really loving. I And we both drink and find out who was right and who was dead. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so simple. All I have to do is divine from what I know of you. Now, are you the sort of man who would put the poison into his own goblet or his enemies? Now, a clever man who would put the poison would know that only a great fool would reach for what he's been given. So I can clearly not choose the wine in front of you. But you must have known I wasn't a great fool. I must have counted on it. So I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. You've made your decision then. <laughs> not remotely. Because I came, comes from Australia, as everyone knows. 
And Australia is entirely peopled by criminals, and criminals are used to having people not trust them as you are not trusted by me, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of you. <laughs> Truly, you have a dizzying intellect. Wait till I get going! <laughs> Where was I? Australia. Australia, yes! But you must have known, I would have known the powder's origin, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. You're just stalling now. You would like to think that, wouldn't you? You've beaten my giant, which means you're exceptionally strong. So you might have put the poison into your own goblet, counting on your strength to save you. So I can clearly not choose the wine in front of you. But you've also bested my Spaniard, which means you've studied. And in studying, you would have learned that man is mortal. So you would have put the poison as far from yourself as possible. So I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. You're trying to trick me into giving away something. It won't work. It has worked. You've given everything away. I know where the poison is. Then make your choice. I will when I choose. What in the world could that be? What? Where? Him? <laughs> I don't see anything. Could have sworn I saw something. It's no matter. <laughs> so funny. I, I'll tell you in a minute. Uh, first, let's drink. Me from my glass and you from yours.
Beatrice. I pray thee now, tell me, for which of my bad parts did you first fall in love with me? For them all together. But for which of my good parts did you first suffer love for me? Suffer love, a good epithet. I do suffer love indeed, for I love thee against my will. Thou and I are too wise to woo peaceably. Tell me, how doth your cousin? Very ill. And how do you? Very ill too. Have you wept all this while? Yea, and I will weep a while longer. I will not desire that. You have no reason to. I do it freely. Surely I do believe your fair cousin is wrong. Oh, how much might the man would deserve of me that would write her? Is there any way to show such friendship? Very even way, but no such friend. May a man do it? It is a man's office, though not yours. I do love nothing in the world so well as you. Is not that strange? As strange as the thing I know not. It were as possible for me to say I love nothing so much as you. But believe me not, yet I lie not. I deny nothing, though I confess nothing. I am sorry for my cousin. By my sword, Beatrice, thou lovest me. Do not swear by it, then eat it. I will swear by it that you love me, and I will make him eat it that says I love not you. Will you not eat your word? There's no sauce that can be devised to it. I protest I love thee. Why then, God forgive me. What offense, sweet Beatrice? For I was about to protest I loved you. Then well, do it with all thy heart. I love you with so much of my heart, there's none left to protest. Come, bid me do anything for thee. Kill Claudio. Not for the wide world. Kill me to deny it. Farewell. Uh, Terry, sweet Beatrice. I am gone, though I am here. There is no love in you. Nay, I pray you let me go. Beatrice. In faith, I will go. We'll be friends first. You dare easier be friends with me than fight mine enemies. Is Claudio thine enemy? Hath he not approved himself in height a villain? He that hath slandered, scorned, and dishonored my kinswoman. Oh, that I were a man. What? Take arms with her than when it comes time to bear arms with public accusation. Uncovered slander, and unmitigated rancor. Oh God! That I were a man, I would eat his heart in the marketplace. Hear me, Beatrice. Sweet hero, she is wronged. She is slandered. She is undone. Since I cannot live a man with fighting, I will die a woman grieving. Harry, good Beatrice. By this hand, I love thee. Use it for some other way than swearing by it. I think you in your soul the Count Claudio hath wronged hero. As much as I have thought or soul. Enough. I am engaged. I will challenge him. Kiss your hand. So I leave you. Sir God, love me and mend. <laughs> I will be tall enough to reach the branches that I need to reach to climb the trees you get to climb when you're grown up. And when I grow up, Bye.